we're talking with Kingsley Fink, who was instrumental behind the development of this particular model. Kingsley, what's the genesis of this boat, and, and how did the development work sort of progress? So the development started for our 821 three years ago. We've had a strong demand from our owners uh, wanting a, a real serious offshore game fishing boat. So there was obviously a lot of features that have been recommended by our owners. We are also keen anglers as a family, so we've learnt along the way out having fun in our own product. Um, but ultimately we've learnt a lot of our owners with their demands of what they're wanting in new Tristram packages. So what sets this model apart from some of the boats that you've done previously? Obviously there is a bit of a different um, look aesthetically, we've now got a raised share which is new to our product and our brand. Um, we're very excited to have a bit of a new look and um, obviously we're now targeting that serious offshore game fishing. So we do now have um, different features like built in tuna tubes, you can now lock uh, under the floor 550 wide Tiagra reels, um, that gives you obviously a, a hell of a lot of storage, not only just for your rods but as kill tanks as well under the floor. So with these new features we are getting into a bit of a different market. And Kingsley, this particular boat uh, is, is set up for outboards, but this model is available in outboard and stern drive configurations. Tell us about some of the challenges for, for the outboard version of this boat, designing that one. Different challenges are hull shapes, working with one hull shape for the two configurations, but also ultimately the deck is the biggest uh, challenge from a designing and moulding perspective. So we opted as a company to do two deck moulds. So one is a designated um, or dedicated stern drive deck mould, and then we have a dedicated outboard deck mould. And the reason why we've done that is there's no cutting and tucking. There's no sealer joins along transoms. It is one mould, one piece, which ultimately is stronger as well. Great, and this particular boat we're looking at two V8 four strokes, 250 horsepower each. Uh, I'm guessing that this is quite a rocket ship, uh, but you know, what other options if people were going down the outboard sort of route? could you offer with this boat? We actually start with twin uh, 175s which is obviously still a really nice package. If you're wanting to get up in the, in the performance and high top speeds closer to 100k an hour you can opt for obviously twin 250s. We can even do twin 300s which we've got a couple of people considering that at the moment which would be even more exciting. Uh, but certainly these twin 250 V8s is a really nice setup, really nice package. This is actually um, being coupled nicely with the Mercury JPO, the joystick pilot in for outboards and bringing in that joystick pilot into an offshore game fishing boat is, is unreal. Obviously it's not used for uh, trolling but certainly if you're targeting kingfish on pins or puka it does have a spot lock on it um, so that is using a, a, a button here called Skyhook, push the button and it holds you on a position. It's an unbelievable feature that you can have with a twin outboard. Well thank you very much uh, Kingsley, that's fantastic. Thank you. We're on Tristram Marine's much anticipated brand new 821 and this is a model that they've been sitting on for a couple of years now and uh, this is the first time that we've had the opportunity to get on board. So something you notice straight away with this uh, vessel is just how much cockpit space we've got. Now this has got a bit more beam than uh, you'd normally expect from a Tristram. They've taken it out to uh, 2.78 which is uh, quite a departure. Normally these, the boats that Tristram has been building are about two and a half metres wide. They fit on a trailer that way. This gives us all this extra space in here and uh, it's also allowed us to fit in so many of these special features that we're seeing and I'll go through them one by one. One of the nice things about this particular model is that the floor has been raised slightly and that's allowed us all the space underneath which Tristram has used to, uh, for rod storage. It's an absolutely fantastic space, about eight feet long. Um, that's, you know, two and a half metres long. Really useful, you can get a whole bunch of rods down there out of the way uh, even better still, you can actually wash them down in there because this area all drains uh, so you can put a fresh water wash through there, clean your gear down. A feature I particularly like about the way that they have uh, designed this boat, they've taken special care to make sure that the cockpit drains, uh, drains well and doesn't allow water to get down into the, into the engine compartment. So we've got really deep gutters around the, the engine box, also around the top of the engine box, all of them including these lockers under the floor, they drain into a sump. Now the sump is, is in front of the engine compartment, so totally separate, it prevents any water getting in there into the machinery space, so it's a really good idea. A really nice big live bait tank, glass on the front. Uh, quite a clever feature, they've actually got the Tristram um, emblem, it's actually uh, on the inside of the glass, not on the outside, so it's not gonna get any dirt in there. Removable, removable bait board, when you need it, it's there. And that's access to the hard uh, to the live bait tankers through the top there. 
nice use of teak trim again another truss trim um, signature is teak trim and they've got this nicely around the boat we've got it on the combings as well uh, stainless steel rod holders across the back and aft here on the platform we've got in this case two tuna tubes but you can have as many as four and that space can also double as a seat when you're fishing off the off the platform again we've got a staple off the back there with a with a, um, a bait board cup holders there's talon there's talon holders all over this boat in fact so you know really quite well featured this cockpit great fishing cockpit and this is an offshore capable boat that's what it's been designed for so quite a lot of thoughts gone into the seating arrangement here we've got these reversible backrests and we've got reversible backrests on both sets of seats so this area can be configured in so many different ways so you can you can sit with people facing each other you can sit with everybody facing forward or you can sit with everybody facing aft watching the lures perhaps so a really clever use of that space now underneath this uh, this rear seat base we've got not only a, a, um, a chili bin there with uh, or an ice bin we've also got a, a pull out cooker uh, again it's a it's a nice idea and they've been quite clever about making space for a bench as well underneath the seat base right another nice touch this is a fishing boat after all we've got tackle drawers either side so on the starboard side uh, the usual Tristram arrangement we've got a nice big space under here plenty of storage space under there in fact this boat is absolutely loaded with storage we've got storage lockers all over the place under the floor plenty of room to put things bits and pieces bits and bobs uh, nice simple system hooks up under the permit simple as can be reliable nothing to rust nice little isotherm fridge underneath the underneath the seat base okay so this is all all new too everything here is in-house so Tristram does the whole lot uh, this is brand new molding obviously for this boat um, the seat again is a design that they've developed just for this model uh, it doesn't swivel but what it does have is these fold up armrests which means that you can swivel your body on the seat quite happily very comfortable it's a, on a slider fore and aft and the, you know the, the helm position is, is excellent as well there's really good vision right round through the side windows and also forward a couple of windscreen wipers there obviously to keep things clear and it, we've got these opening hatches above so with the sliding side windows and open to the back there's plenty of ventilation lots of storage we've got lockers under the floor i'm standing on one there's another one here this also gives us access to our hot water cylinder um, there is of course a cockpit shower and the and the hose is long enough to use it on the aft platform as well so this is a really spacious cabin in here and, and one of the beauties of, of having this shear line on this particular model is that we've got a bit more room in here we've also got a flatter foredeck and, and that's quite useful when you're on the outside and, and this one is covered in non-slip uh, you can use that or you can lay a towel on there and someone could enjoy the sunshine but in here there's lots of headroom also with the extra beam on this particular boat we've got good wide uh, v berths we've got a big infill to make this into a, a really quite spacious uh, double for, for sleeping overnight obviously you've got the galley facility so you can spend your time overnight uh, there is an option with this boat to have a separate toilet uh, that's an option that people might like to take uh, this particular owner uh, owners have decided not to do that they've just gone for the the plumbed in toilet under the seat and of course this has a sliding cabin door so there's plenty of privacy um, for most people I think this this sort of toilet arrangement will be absolutely fine and that seems to be the way that people are ordering the boat at the moment anyway so I have to talk about the helm station here there's uh, there's plenty to talk about um, it's in the usual Tristram fashion it's quite nicely designed nicely put together there's plenty of space on it we've got a really big eyebrow they've actually extended it further forward and we've got the black vinyl on here that stops any kind of reflection but the thing that really strikes you straight away is this wonderful um, you know one piece glass panel and this is something that they've worked with Simrad uh, worked with with Simrad and the uh, the displays are actually in the glass so it comes as a unit this is quite unique it's the first time I've ever seen it and uh, very very interesting very sort of seamless kind of installation looks great whether it's turned on or turned off yep. uh, in addition uh, although this is all uh, all of the engine gauges can of course be displayed through the MFD they've gone for the Mercury digital display rather than having analog gauges in, on the dashboard we've got a Simrad autopilot 
Uh, in fact, this is a fully featured. There's also a radar unit on this particular boat. Um, you know, it's got pretty much everything that you could possibly ask for in terms of uh, uh, features. Two windscreen wipers, um, fairly standard Electra tab, uh, tabs. Well, you don't seem to need them a whole lot when you're when you're riding along. She rides along very, very nicely without a lot of attention needing to be paid to the trim tab setting. Um, this is a 270 horsepower uh, turbo diesel, single turbo engine from Mercruiser. And it's running through a Bravo 3 leg. Um, gets along very nicely indeed, very smooth, cruising happily at 24 knots, 22 knots, perfect. Um, and really, you know, a fairly decent sort of fuel burn as well at 33 litres an hour at that speed. So that was Tristram's 821 Offshore. A very significant release for the company. It's going to be a particularly popular model, I'm sure of it. A maxi trailer boat like this doesn't come around every day.